What does it take for anyone to be a true professional? Malcolm Gladwell in his book, Outliers, A Story of Success, he outlines about 10,000 hours of sustained and hard professional work before you can call yourself a true professional. Why 10,000 hours? Well, we work in general 40 hours a week and there are 52 weeks in a year, but we don't work throughout the year. We take a couple of weeks off. So what Malcolm did was he took 50 weeks times 40 hours, that's 2,000 hours a year, and that times five is 10,000 hours. Now people ask, is 10,000 hours a straight mark? Not really. If you already have a prior experience in the field that you're trying to go to, that will be cut short and you could reach there in two and a half years. Versus someone, if they are taking slow and if they're not putting 40 hours, it could be seven, eight, 10 years too. So in general, that five years of work will take some schooling, some professional licensing, your network building, and your real world experience as to how things work in that profession. How is this information useful to you? For the new people coming in as international students and new immigrants, you might from time to time need to retain a service from someone who is a true professional. How are you going to know? Well, Google their name, their title, see if they are licensed professional that they claim to be in the area or the jurisdiction that they are in. Most of the government's website, they will have a licensed professional's name. So if you're trying to go, let's say in a, a management a trainee program and trying to seek somebody's help, look for that person in terms of education, in terms of a true work. That person should have done some employee management, employee engagement, hiring, termination, coaching kind of thing. So when you go and ask for help, that person will be able to put himself or herself in your shoes and chart you a path for you to move forward. And remember, there are no guarantees with these professionals. They can always say, you know what, my program is going to help you in this way, but they will never guarantee it. So in this new country, if anyone approaches you with a guarantee, take it as a grain of salt and be suspicious. And last but not least, talk to your families and friends for the reference because they might have already got somebody's service and they might have liked it. So word of mouth will be amazingly important.